My name is Caitlin Ruskans. Caitlin has always been a very feisty child since she was very young. I realised she had the potential and the big match temperament that it takes, probably around the age of 11. Most weekends were filled with sports. You could see a hunger in her eyes for gymnastics and to excel. At eight years old, I lost my dad very suddenly. The one way I do believe I dealt with it was through gymnastics. You know, that was my coping mechanism. I loved to train and I really took everything out in my training. As she got older, you know, she was the one that, that pushed me. She's so driven and so passionate about it. Going into 2017, I competed in my first World Cup, did well, came back and ended up having to go for knee surgery. That's when I was declared medically unfit by the Commonwealth Games medical team. They just weren't comfortable in sending me, which obviously was a huge blow to me. When she came back in 2018, she just came back so strong. She went to international competitions and achieved so much more that it became more and more real that it's, it's actually possible. We started, I think, officially planning for the Olympics around the beginning of 2018. But I've been training for it my whole life. I can remember the day that she, she told us she qualified for the Olympics. I think it must have been 2 o'clock in the morning. And I grabbed my Vuvuzela and I started running around the house blowing my Vuvuzela because I was so <laughs> proud of her. When I said to listen, you know, Tokyo has been postponed and it is what it is, but there's nothing we can do about it. How are we going to react to this that's going to make all the difference? I don't believe that I've given up on anything in my life. I always try and find an alternative route through it. The dream hasn't changed, just the timeline has shifted. When Sanlam approached me to help me realize the goal behind the plan, it was a really exciting moment for me. And I still get to showcase the routine that I would have showcased. As hard as we've worked, all of us, for Caitlin to get here, Caitlin no longer belongs to us. She belongs to South Africa now. I do believe that all types of sport have the ability to inspire change, and I really hope that what I have done can inspire everyone to change and find their new plan. My goal was to take gold for my country at the 2020 Olympic Games. My new goal is to take gold for my country at the 2021 Olympic Games.